The fact that it's so easy to press the shutter button doesn't mean we have to do it. Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode of Photography Radio. My name is Tomasz and today you are listening to Beyond the Frame with Olaf Staba, where he challenges you to take visual risks and think differently about your photography. Honest, bold and unapologetic. Typical Olaf. Enjoy. Can you imagine your life without photography? No? Then you will love this show. And it doesn't matter if you're a DSLR, a mirrorless, or a mobile phone shooter. We're here to help your photography grow. This is Photography Radio. Go out and shoot as many photos as you can. But is it a really good advice? A few months ago, Kasia and I watched excellent documentary about life and work of one of the uh, one of the great photographers one of my favorite photographers sebastiano salgado and this uh, movie was titled the salt of the earth i'm pretty sure some of you have seen it already i really believe that the imagery and especially narrative in this movie is uh, is really makes you think and it's worth watching. You know, one moment uh, in particular caught my attention when we were watching this movie and it started me uh, thinking. Uh, there, there is the moment in the movie uh, that shows Sebastiano Salgado in the Arctic shooting for his mega project Genesis. By the way, make sure to pick up the book. It's absolutely stunning. But going back to the story, uh, he tries to capture a group of walruses. But as he positioned himself to, to, to shoot them, they kind of refuse to come on shore closer to him. And because it was very, very cold, he and his son retreat to a small shelter from time to time. Uh, But then there is a scene in the movie when a huge, powerful polar bear approaches them. And most photographers, including me, in such a situation would probably go into a a frenzy of shooting. Uh, We would be shooting and shooting, making sure that we take advantage of this occasion But that's not what Sebastiano Salgado did. You know, when they watched this uh, bear approaching them, uh, his son uh, asks, what do you think that? And Sebastiano Salgado answers, it will be complicated to get this story. It's not just a matter of getting close to a bear and taking a picture. If the framing is poor, you will just show the bear, but it won't be a photo. This spot is not good. There is nothing in the background, nothing to compose a well-framed picture. And, and this is, I absolutely love this quote. And this is exactly why he's such a great photographer. You know, today it's so easy to take a photo and we have almost unlimited number of them. You know, many photographers, and I hear it so often, shoot just in case. I'm sure one of them will turn out well. There is even advice I hear from many photographers. And if you go to blogs or YouTube, one of the common advice how to get better or how to do photography well is to go out and shoot as many photos as you can. Just basically go out and shoot. Well, yes and no. Of course, in order to get better, we need to practice. But unfortunately, especially for those that just start in photography and take this advice 
uh, literally, there are a few problems. You know, if you think just go out and shoot, you know, a pattern is is almost created in, in our brain. When I go out, I must shoot because I will get better. So, if you think about it and you follow this logic, then not taking photos must be bad for us. But is it? So, here's the second problem. When you focus on taking images and lots of them, you very often skip important steps that actually lead you to taking a great photograph. I know that because it happened to me. You know, this mantra of shooting a lot of imagery for extended period of time, it makes us numb to the idea of being selective, of applying a good judgment, of observing, curating, and deciding when to actually press the shutter button. And, uh, you know, when we watch of work and many great for photographers and, and look at the imagery, these photos somehow work. They, they, they are beautiful. There, there is certain harmony in them. How do they get there? Not by shooting like crazy. You know, those rare great images require a lot of visual effort. You know, it requires discipline and concentration. It requires a series of no's. Yes, before you capture great image, you have to say no many times. No to a bad lighting. No to a frame, crowded frame. No to a, a moment when your subject is not where you want it to be. You know, even the best photographers in the world rarely capture great image first time on assignment. Yes, this is frustrating process, but very often we need to say, not this time. And even if you took this image because you were excited about the moment, you don't need to put it, my friend, right away on the internet. Let it be your learning lesson. Let it be a step that leads you to this great image. So in short, I want to say, concentrate, connect, observe, but not necessarily shoot like crazy. And we don't even need a camera to learn how to observe and compose. I hope you understand my point. Of course, go out and shoot, but really put a lot of effort and thinking into every frame. The fact that it's so easy to press the shutter button doesn't mean we have to do it. So, as usual, let me leave you with one quote by Martin Parr. Photography is the simplest thing in the world but is incredibly complicated to make it really work. Photography is the simplest thing in the world, but is incredibly complicated to make it really work. So thank you for listening. And as always, please give us a shout. Go to photographyradio.com. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you want us to talk about. And thank you so much for listening. Until next week. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hit subscribe on your podcast app. It would mean a lot for us to have you as our regular listener. Head over to photographyradio.com to drop your suggestion for future editions of Photography Radio or simply to say hello. We would absolutely love to hear from you. In the meantime, have a wonderful light and we will be back with more photography in your ears very soon.